<coughs> that's really good. Honestly, besides the peas, that's that's not bad. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Jim and Tim. I'm Jim. I'm Tim. And it's cold. It is cold. We've got our space heater going. <laughs> Not really working very well, but hey. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, space heater's going, and I can still see my breath in the workshop. Yeah. So, uh, perfect time for a t-shirt. Huh? Next winter, I, I, ha I actually have a heater. Next winter, I'll hopefully have it up and... Cranking in here? Cooking. So. That's all right. It's warmed up, right? Like we're we're full yeah. fifteen degrees <coughs> higher than we were yesterday. So yeah, so yeah, feels like summer. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so before we get into today's recipe, which is going to be a doozy, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, FeedingAmerica.org and donate. Check them out. They do a lot of great things all over the country for a lot of different people that help them get the food that they need to feed their families. So please. Donate directly to their website at feedingamerica.org, or you can Venmo us at jim tim 55 our Venmo account, and we will forward that money onto them. Either way, money is going to go to them. So $1 equals 10 meals. So $2 equals 20 um, meals. And so on and so yeah. on. So a little bit of money goes a long way to help those in need. So please donate. Help out those that you can. If you if you are in a spot where you can't help, please forward the video on to people who can. Yep. Like it, share it, love it, all that fun stuff. Woo. Okay. What wow. do we got? Today's going to be some good food. <laughs> Today's going to be good. This one is from 1975, so not too old. 1975, uh, Betty Crocker step-by-step -step cards. This is actually a throwback from in season one. Uh, we had one of our viewers... Uh, Sarah in South Carolina sent us a whole stack of cards, uh, and we only used two or three of them. Yeah. And we went back and looked, and there's still some gold in there. <laughs> there's some daisies, including this one, Dizzies. which is eggs in a ring. So uh, eggs in a ring sounds pretty interesting. The picture was also interesting. It's a ring mold, but it's not Jello. It's baked uh, like a bunt cake. It's like a bun cake. Yeah. It's like a savory bun cake. It's going to be great. So just like in the bun cake, we start out with some flowers. This one is a little bougie. It has two different flowers, Ooh. both your general purpose flour and a special purpose flour. And the whole wheat flour. Put a little bit of oil, some salt, and some baking powder, and some sugar. And then for some yummy flavoring, some good baking, cheddar cheese. Put that all together with an egg, mix it all up, and put it in the oven. 400 degrees for like 25 minutes, and you get a, a nice ring. But where's the egg, you say? Well, eggs in the ring. So we're going to make like a gravy, or a... <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make the sauce that goes inside the ring once it's baked. That's going to include some frozen peas, cream of chicken soup, our favorite, green olives, a little favorite. bit of chopped onion, of course, some hard-boiled eggs, and some poultry seasoning. So there's a lot to this. There's a lot to this. This one's kept me busy today. Okay. So, honestly, anything on the table that looks awful? The green olives. The green olives. Don't well, the like good them. news, there's, there's not a lot of green olives in this one. It calls for six to eight olives, so not a whole lot of okay. olives. Um... I am not a peas fan. I don't like peas. I like peas. And this one goes for the whole bag of peas. They have to be so, frozen, not canned. Canned peas are disgusting. Well, the, the recipe calls for frozen peas, so it's perfect. Okay, I like it. All right. Let's want to take a look at it? Let's get cooking. All right. <laughs>
after you. <laughs> it looks really good. It, it kind of reminds me of a like a pot pie, yeah, kind of feel. <laughs> Extra there. Thank you. <clears throat> it's plenty here. I feel like we should have a party. Have some people over. Definitely smell the peas. Yeah, yeah, lots of peas in there. Your favorite. It's like a cake. Yeah, yeah. It really is like a savory cake. I feel like it may be a little denser, though. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. That's really good. Honestly, besides the peas, that's that's not bad. And that's personal preference. That's actually really good. I'm gonna try just the... Wow. Eggs in a ring. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. I think the peas make it for me. I'm I'm like, I like peas. Yeah, it has very much like you were saying a pot pie kind of feel to it. Uh, it's like pot pie on a cake, like an egg pot pie. <laughs> yeah, you know the flavor of egg doesn't really even come uh -huh. through a whole lot for me. You know this would be really good. My family we do what's called cream chip beef and eggs. Uh, I'm sure many people know of it as like SOS, <laughs> uh, and that I think would be really good inside this as well. I, don't, I, don't I can definitely see why it's from the seventies. I mean, it's like a <laughs> it's like a home comfort food. No, something that you make. It's nice and warm on a chilly day. So yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad. Hey, it's the first good one in a while. Yeah, I, like I really it. like this. I think I might take half of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much. Like, subscribe, follow, all the fun stuff. Share, donate, donate all that. You know all the things to do. You just. Go do it. Just go do it. Just do it. Yeah. Every, everybody yeah. else is. <laughs> you want to be just like everybody else, right? <laughs> I know you do. Like, follow, share. There's no peer pressure or anything. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Just hey. do it. Right. Till next time. Bye, guys. See you later.